welcome back to dr suchita's interactive class today we are going to see one of the practical as an online practical demonstration with little bit i mean animation welcome back to dr suchita's interactive class today we will see one of the online practical demonstration with animation to determine copper present in a given solution of copper sulfate by colorimetric method where we are going to perform a titration from the given solution of the copper with standard edta solution now to determine this copper present in a given provided solution of copper sulfate by colorimetric titration we need to have an assembly that is colorimeter cuvette test tube volumetric flask burette tissue paper and chemicals which we are going to utilize is 0.04 molar copper sulfate solution 0.1 molar edta and sodium acetate buffer we need to prepare this proper freshly by utilizing acetic acid and sodium acetate solution as 20 plus 3 ml where we are going to form this sodium acetate buffer now we will just revise the little bit theory of colorimeter how we can utilize this and what are the different components present here it is the filter inbuilt filters are there in colorimeter which are uh, being uh, shown over here as filter holder cuvette holder where you can put your colored solution in a cuvette it is like simply a test tube and this is the knob when you want to standardize the instrument this particular knob will adjust the absorbance zero as this particular instrument is based on beer's law when a beam of monochromatic light you are passing through the colored solution the decrease in intensity of the color solution is directly proportional to the concentration so for colorless solution you are going to standardize this particular assembly where you need to adjust sometimes the absorbance which you can adjust by this knob this is digital display and these are the components present in a colorimeter as source tungsten filament source is there filter absorption filters are inbuilt you are having a slit or monochromator cuvette and then detector and a readout device so this particular bulb is there acting as a source of light concave mirror which will reflect light in forward direction absorption filters which are made up of two glass shield and built with the uh, pigment in organic colored pigment so that is the process to form the uh, absorption filter then slits again cuvette holder to hold the colored solution detector where photocell or photovoltaic cell are being used as a detector in colorimeter amplifier and display digit this is again a working of colorimeter when you give the source of light to the oh, filter it will pass through the colored solution and digital display will show you the reading these are the number of inbuilt absorption filters usually placed inside the colorimeter now to determine the concentration of copper present we need to find out maximum absorbing wavelength for this complex copper edta now when i am reacting copper with edta it forms a complex edta is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid acts as a ligand and this is a metal so copper and uh, metal and ligand this complex once we know what is the maximum absorbing wavelength for this particular complex we can able to determine the exact concentration of copper so the first task is being uh, told to you to standardize the instrument as we have discussed just now that colorless solution of the solvent which is being utilized throughout the experiment as here we are utilizing water just pick up the water take in a cuvette and placed in front of the filter which you are going to utilize and check out the absorbance whether it is showing me zero now to find out lambda max of copper edta you have to pick up the solution of prescribed concentration 0.04 molar as 10 ml plus 20 ml buffer which will uh, stay stabilize this complex so we need to add buffer over here like we have uh, done ph10 buffer we have added during the titration of edta with the hard water where calcium and magnesium we want to determine so whenever the complex is formed to stabilize that complex we need to add buffer solution and then excess of edta we are adding so that this complex will form light blue color of copper will change little bit dark 
when this copper and EDTA complex has been formed. So visually you can see this uh, particular uh, change when you perform the experiment in a lab. Check the solution well and this solution you can utilize for finding out mag lambda max for the copper EDTA complex and the blank solution simply you pick up water. Now you have to select from lowest filter towards the highest filter. Select the lowest filter, put the water, uh, adjust the absorbance to zero, then put your colored solution of copper EDTA complex and find out the absorbance. This process you have to repeat for every filter. We will see. Yes. When you are putting this buffer solution, you need to check the pH of that buffer solution as it has been prescribed 2.2. So, you have to standardize the pH meter before you take potassium hydrogen phthalate solution whose pH is constant. So, you can place the buffer solution. You can enjoy this little bit animation which I have tried over here. Yes, you can dip now pH and check out the pH 4. Okay, this is the standardization process. Now for the prepared acetate buffer, we will check out the pH. Dip your pH electrode and check out the pH which has been observed. So you can utilize this sodium acetate buffer for your further experiment. Now when we want to determine the lambda max for this copper EDTA solution. We have to pick up sodium acetate buffer, 10 ml of copper solution of 0 0.04 molar plus 20 ml this buffer solution. Then take out 8 to 10 ml of EDTA solution from the burette. This solution will show you little bit change with the color intensity of the blue color. And this solution you can utilize to measure the lambda max of copper EDTA complex. Now here copper EDTA complex has been formed. Now pick up this solution in a cuvette which you have prepared and a blank solution. Select the filter, put the blank solution, adjust the absorbance to zero, then put your colored solution and find out the absorbance for colored solution. So this these are the readings I have provided for you at 470 nanometer again adjust the blank utilizing blank adjust the absorbance 0 measure the absorbance of copper EDTA solution repeat for the filter 500 nanometer then at 530 nanometer 630 nanometer and at 660 nanometer one more is there at 720 nanometer yes now look look at the readings which are given over here with the wavelength and the absorbance so you have to pick up maximum absorbing wavelength for this complex look at the readings and tell me which is the maximum absorbing wavelength yes 720 so you can choose this filter for estimating copper present in a given solution after completing this part you have to plot a graph of absorbance versus wavelength which will give you maximum absorbing wavelength as lambda max this you can complete as a task of plotting a graph by student estimation of copper okay now the solution has been provided to you you have added buffer solution and this beaker you have kept ready under the burette which is micro burette as you are going to add 0.2 ml of the solution you have to pick up micro burette for this particular titration so for the prepared solution you will measure what is the absorbance at lambda max that is 720 nanometer and then after every addition of 0.2 molar solution of EDTA when it is mixed with this solution you will pick up in a weight and measure the absorbance at 720 once you measure the absorbance again drop uh, uh, put all the solution inside the beaker okay every time so when you are picking up the solution you have to measure the absorbance at 720 nanometer these are the readings provided under this pandemic situation 
these are not ideal one utilize them to find out the concentration of copper by plotting a graph of ml of edt added versus absorbance so you the graph nature you make it like this where you'll get constant absorbance extrapolate those lines when they co coincidence you will find out the equivalence point for this particular titration as xml utilize this xml reading to find out the concentration of copper by doing these calculations 1000 ml 1 molar edt corresponds to 63.54 gram of copper so for 0.1 molar you can change this as 6.354 gram of copper and for x ml of 0.1 molar edta you can go for for it as 6.354 divided by 1000 so you can find out the w gram for 10 ml and for 100 ml solution you can find out the a gram of copper put these values as a result table showing the lambda max as well as concentration of copper present this is little bit small assignment provided to you as an which will be very useful to answer the oral questions this is the study material to revise the basic principle of the instrument which you are going to utilize for this particular experiment so you can revise these things as an basic laws of photometry terms utilized in photometry is there any deviation this is an relative to spectrophotometer and colorimeter thank you hope you have understand so hope you have enjoyed and understood this particular experiment